Hey guys, it's Molly. Long time no see. So, I obviously have not been here in a while. I took a break from YouTube because I was, I really want to make good videos, so I was saving up for different things that I wanted to be able to film. So I saved up for, um, well first, obviously you guys know my last few videos had been filmed with this camera, um, because I had saved up for that, or, yeah, I'd been waiting to get that. And so I needed that, and then I was like, I have a good camera, now I need a good computer for editing and stuff, and I just didn't have that. I decided to get a, or buy a new computer for myself, and so I did that, and I still have not gotten to the point where I can afford buying Final Cut Pro, so I'm still using iMovie, which I'm kind of upset about, but it's better than nothing, and I'm really happy that I get to start making YouTube videos again because I absolutely love it. Um, I think that's just going to lead me right into my favorites video of January. So, starting off, I bought myself a laptop. I got the 13 inch MacBook Pro. So this is definitely my favorite technological favorite of the month. So I'm really excited that I got this. So that's definitely on the top of my favorites list. I'm going to start off with skincare. Um, so I recently bought a set of the of the First Aid Beauty stuff. I have the Ultra Repair Cream, which is a moisturizer, which is the moisturizer I use. And I don't use it every day because um, I don't think my face needs that much. It's not like oily, but it doesn't need much moisturizing. And um, this is expensive. I'll, I got the set so it'll be less expensive but it's still pretty expensive to buy so I just use this sparingly um, and then I use this face cleanser and I use this um, probably every other day I would say um, and this is um, also really good it's like the best face cleanser I've ever used and I rarely use face cleansers anyway but I still really really like it um, and then the last thing from first aid beauty that I got um, is the facial radiance pads also invested in a beauty blender it's kind of dirty right now i need to clean it but i love it like i never wear foundation when i do it's like when i want to like look a little better than normal like i'm not wearing foundation right now um but i'm really glad i bought this i was really debating it because it's like 25 dollars for like something that um is like really small and you don't think it's like worth it really but i think it is so worth it it makes me want to wear foundation um and it just puts it on so nicely like you, everybody's heard about people talking about beauty blenders but definitely one of my favorites tying along with my discussion about foundation the beauty blender i got um this foundation it's makeup forever um and it's matte velvet um, and it's for medium to dry skin and it's medium coverage. I went to Sephora and got the Skin IQ test done because I'm so bad at like knowing what foundation is good for me. Um, and so I got this one and pretty expensive for like this much of a thing and I how many uses I've gotten out of it. But it's not done yet obviously and I don't wear foundation that much anyway so it's awesome. But like I love it like it goes on so well and makes my skin look so nicely and um, with the beauty blender it makes it so much easier to put on as well so definitely recommend getting this brand and then of course I love the Hoola bronzer by Benefit um, and everybody loves it um, I recently just splurged on a bunch of makeup because I just was like I have money right now I'm gonna go buy makeup because I never buy myself um, good makeup I'm not wearing any right now because I'm not wearing any face makeup right now because I just really quickly did my makeup because I couldn't see anything out of this eye um, but I absolutely love this and then my also like recent favorite like winter favorite I'm gonna say is getting BoxyCharm like I love subscription box it is actually so amazing and I love um, getting stuff every month um, and they're all full size. Maybe there's one or two, not one or two. There's usually just one, maybe, um, sample size, but usually it's all full size. Like, one of the things I've gotten is this Reveal palette. And I got this in November or December, I'm not sure. But I've been using it so much, and the colors are actually so pretty. Like, some matte and some shimmery ones, but they're all so nice. And I use this one right here. Um, it look it reminds me of um, velvet. No, I don't know. It reminds me of something on the Naked Two palette. Um, the one that's like one, two, three, four. It's like four rose in. I don't know what it's called. Um, but it, it's so I love it and it's like 
the reason I like this more than my Naked palette this month is because it's perfect for traveling. I can, it's so thin, it's magnetic, and I can just slip it in somewhere and it's perfect to travel with, so I'm loving this. Is um, this Makeup Forever um, lip liner. I'm wearing it right now with no lipstick over it because I was, I couldn't find the lipstick I usually wear with over it, but this is the color, I don't know what color this is to sharpen it because I've used it so much but I love it so much and for another beauty favorite with hair is this Eva um, NYC um, hungry hair oil treatment and it has car carabas protein and argan oil um, and it smells so good I also got this in my boxy charm and smell it from there it smells so good it just I don't know what it smells like it would smell that's kind of what it smells like but it I love it so much. I'm going to start off with some shoes that I got um, a couple days ago. I'm obsessed with them. So these shoes, they are um, these heels. They are velvet. Um, they are so nice. I got them at H&M for like $20. And I just i have needed like shoot like big heels like this for so long, just like black ones. Um, and I'm actually so in love with them, and they're, like, so easy to walk in because they're not, like, a skinny little heel. They have, like, some good, um, coverage on them, um, and they're pretty comfortable. I got a little bit of a blister, like, back here because it goes really skinny, and, like, it, like, kind of, like, chafes the back of my, the back of my ankle right here, but other than that, they're pretty comfortable. This shirt, um, it is just a plaid crop top that I got from this place in Foxes in Florida. It's just a little like boutique I guess and it's by Wells Grace. Um, it's it's like a thick fabric and that's what I love about it because I can wear it in the winter with like a leather jacket and a skirt and tights or something. Um, but I love it so much because it's like the perfect cut for like a high-waisted um, skirt or something with the out looking too summery because it's like thick and plaid and that just screams big and warm and it feels it's so comfortable too so I'm loving this my next fashion clothing favorite would have to be this shirt it is um, a striped shirt and in between the stripes is mesh so it is pretty see-through but I'm wearing a bralette under it which is also one of my favorites of this month I got it from Urban Out well I got this shirt from H&M it was only nine dollars and like this shirt you can find it like top shop for like $50 and it's so expensive and I've just wanted it for so long so I was so happy when I found like a $9 one at H&M. So moving on to jewelry. I have been loving layering necklaces recently. Um, even ones that like aren't supposed to be layered. Like these ones like don't match but they like, go look good layered together. Um, it's just a Jewish star and Chai which means life in Hebrew. Um, I'm Jewish so um, both of those just really represent me so I like laying those together um, I've been wearing them for like a week straight now and I'm loving how they look together um, and then I also have other layered necklaces that are that came together layered and then other ones that I just match and mix and match together which I love doing because it's just so fun like having another thing to mix and match with and my next favorite is this nose ring um, I got that done over winter break and I love it so much. Um, I just, I've wanted one for so long and I finally was allowed to get one. Um, and yeah, that's awesome. My next favorite is this bracelet. It is from Nordstrom. It was only $10 at Nordstrom. My next fashion favorite is this purse. Um, I have been wanting a Rebecca Minkoff purse for so long. Like I just love some of her the styles that she has for purses. But I cannot afford a Rebecca Minkoff purse or any designer purse. So I got this one from Nordstrom as well, and it just has gold detailing up on the um, like part of the strap, and then the rest is faux leather, and then the bag is faux leather, and it has a front pocket, um, and I love the little zipper on it. I just love how it has these things, and then it has the gold detailing, and then inside it fits so much more than you would think, um, but also my other favorite is this wallet and it actually matches the purse. Um, I got it from Steve Madden and uh, so I love both of those. Comment down below if you guys want me to do a what's in my purse video because I finally have a purse because I 
never owned like a purse that I use every single day, but this is something I use every single day and it matches with everything, so I love it so much. Now moving on to random favorites, I have this little um, like moleskin planner. It's really tiny. It fits in my purse. I just plan things out in it. So those were my um, January favorites, and I hope you guys enjoyed them, and I hope it gave you some inspiration for what you guys want to test out or try out, um, anything like that. And, yeah, I will hopefully figure out an updating, an uploading schedule soon. Um, but right now, I don't know how often I'm going to update and stuff. But hopefully, it will all be done soon. So I will see you guys whenever I see you guys, and goodbye.